with anticipation of your future life together, you stand before, gather before this group of family and friends today. Your hopes and dreams are being built on your life as husband and wife in a united family. In one million years, um, I never thought I'd meet someone that's perfect. I never thought that Someone could make my mind go round in circles I never thought there was A beach with jet black sand in Jersey Responsibility. It is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. And into this union, Willisha and James come now to be joined. And if any person can show just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together, let him or her speak now or forever else remain quiet. Like the words of a preacher to the ears of a deacon Yeah, I don't see the same when you're sleeping I'm so in love, in love Guess I'm going to like Arizona I can't walk around without I can't you walk around yeah. James, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Like to live together heart. after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony Will you love her? He's ready. Hang on, I'm not finished. <laughs> There's more to this. <laughs> Will you love her? Will you comfort her? Honor and keep her in sickness and in health. And forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live. I think I know the answer. Yes, you will. Willisha. Will you have this man to be your wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall? I will. You will and you will. And I'm glad to hear that. When I first met you, you know, I wasn't really looking for anything serious, but God had other plans. Um, you were the most kindest, just most caring man I've ever met. Um, and so, just give a little backstory. I say this for my wedding day. Nobody knows this story. Um, I, my grandfather, Clarence Campbell, which was one of the reasons why I wasn't getting out the vehicle. Um, we were visiting him. We were visiting him, grandparents one time. Me and my sister were arguing about where we were sleeping. I don't remember. We were just always arguing. My mother was like. Don't worry about it, don't pay them any mind. I'm not, I'm not um, which is normal for her. Um, and so he was just stressing himself out about it. I mean, just stressing himself out about it. And he said, I just, I just want them to have what they want. I just want, I just, I just want them to have what they want. That's all, that's all that matters. And it might seem small to everybody, but just having like someone just, that's all they care about. If someone else's happiness, just someone else being so selfless and just caring about other people, and that's what my granddaddy was. And I always said, whoever I married, they have to be like him. And specifically that moment. 
fast forward, I was dating you, I had a flat tire, and you, it took you hours to convince me to let you fix it, because again, I don't let people help me, I'm, I'm stubborn. Um, and then you just said something, you said, I just, wanna, I just wanna give you what you deserve, I just wanna give you the world. And after all those years of losing him, someone like you just made me remind, reminded me of him. And that's what, that's what meant the most to me. It didn't matter what the materialistic might, might have been by, behind it. It was just, again, just taking your, like, having that moment of, I just want to, I just want to give somebody the world. You don't care, you just care about the other person so much. And that's the kind of, like, man you are. You just, you care about everybody, like, everybody. Um, and so everything, all my flaws, everything that people get annoyed by, you loved it, you just, you accept it. We argue, we disagree with each other, but we go on great adventures, we love each other. And that's why like, I can stand here and say, I, I definitely know that you're my person. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yes. Same as you three years ago, I wasn't looking for anything, but um, we found each other. So I'm still standing here today, you know. Standing here today. In this church, in front of our friends and family, you know. I, I, I never thought I would be doing this. You know, looking at you, you know, I want you to know you are beautiful, you're smart, you're intelligent. Sometimes you're, you're a little fiery sometimes. <laughs> I know your type of woman that, you know, when you set your mind to something, you do it and you achieve it, no matter what it is. And, 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 I, and I just want to support you on that. And I can't stop you when you want to do something. I can't tell you not to do it. <laughs> but today, all I want to do, I want to promise to always love you. I want to promise to always protect you. I want to promise to always support you in whatever you do. So I promise I always respect you. I truly believe that, you know, God put us together for a reason. He was made for me, and I was made for you. You were my soulmate. And like I always said, man, it's all packed up, packed up, packaged. Today. You know, you have turned me to a better man. I told you that before, too. And every day gets better and better. And I can't wait, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Party out for the rest of the night. Alright. To the body group.